Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well. So today I am outside on our balcony or patio and I am just going to be showing you what shoes I am currently using in my rotation at the beginning of the year 2022. It's an updated, quite a big update compared to last time and I'm excited to get into it. So we are going to jump right into it. I'm not going to fuss around with that. I'm going to give you some info on the shoes, what I use them for mileage that I'm currently at on them and yeah so first off everyday running shoes trainers the Nike Pegasus 37s I got these on the Nike website on sale like five months ago for I think 62 euro when they're normally 119 so almost 50 percent which is a big discount massive deal very happy with them they still look very good condition yeah they are pretty dirty but they're great condition they are currently at about 805 kilometers i think so 503 miles so they have handled the running very well the grip is still perfect they still feel perfect the airbags have handled well they suit the conditions they run perfectly the road a bit of trail slipperiness they got good grip they just seem to handle everything well and i'm happy that i got them Definitely, I'll definitely upgrade soon. Probably just to Pegasus 38 or maybe even another pick of Pegasus 37. So, my next shoe that I have in my rotation is the Nike Wild Horse 6. I haven't used these in about five months. They are probably getting a bit small, but I've got about 150k's on them, not that many. I haven't been doing much trail running these days, I've been trying to get my speed work up, my mobility, everything and I haven't gone to trail running and when I do go on the trails I'm using the Pegasus and they're handling it perfectly. So I haven't worn these in a while, they've got the Nike React foam here, the grip is still perfect, nothing's worn down, a bit dirty but nothing wrong with them, they just, I haven't been using them. I need to actually get out and use these. So. I'm going to make it that this week, end of this week, I'm going to go out and use these just to get an excuse to wear them. Just to go run because they need some extra mileage on them. Okay, okay, okay. So my spikes that I used, well, used. These are the Nike Victory 3s. I bought these end of 2020 to start my track season. They have quite a bit of wear on them about 150 k's on them but that's the, probably the most I've gotten ever on the track spike before I grow out of them or they actually start hurting my feet so it's done well these have gotten good use a lot of speed a lot of base work a lot of aerobic drills they've been good so 150 k's they're still going well but the other day we were doing reps at the track and I did feel that they were getting a bit thin I think the victories are a bit a bit they don't have that much support in that to do thousand reps in my how I run. I feel like they're a bit flat, so I prefer the Matambos or that. So I did get an upgrade, which I'm going to show you now. But these are the Victory 3s. Recently retired. I might still do a bit of running in them just for some sprints or that because, yeah, they're thin, they're light, they're fast. But for what I want to race in this season, 3,000, 5,000, and maybe try 10,000, I just don't think they suit what... I prefer car going down the hill, making a big noise. Next shoe. Spike bag. Next shoe, new spikes, Nike Dragonflies. I got these a week ago. Yeah, a week ago. Last week, Wednesday. I've run them once. I ran in them on Saturday during 400 reps, 15 times 400. Good pace good feeling they felt amazing they felt really good I'm currently at eight kilometers on them eight kilometers and I'm happy with how they're feeling so far I'll definitely be getting a lot of running in these maybe try some cross-country but with the color it does feel like I might be a bit wrong to take it out into the mud but that's what shoes are for so we'll definitely try it in the mud one day but I might have to get a lot of use out of them first just to before I come to that feeling that they can go out in the, to the mud. But one thing, I wore these shoes on, just on Saturday, just on the track. It was a bit icy, but that's all. But 
I was wearing them and the other shoe's perfect, but this shoe when I finished, I'll try to get a close up here. It's like I've stepped on something, but the track was definitely clear and I didn't remember stepping on anything. But the foam's definitely caught and it's damaged there. Don't know why. But I don't think that'll affect anything when I'm running. Hopefully it doesn't. And it should be fun. And my last shoe in my rotation. I got them end of last year. I originally bought the Nike Alpha Flies. But I did a few runs with them and depending on what socks I wore, the thinner they got, the more they hurt my feet. So I thought, no, when it comes to rest day, I can't have any problems. So I had to, unfortunately, I had to change them, get a new pair of shoes. But I did end up getting my first pair of Adidas shoes, which is the Adidas Adios Adizero Pro 2s. My second pair of carbon-plated racing shoes. Well, these aren't actually carbon-plated, they're carbon-rodded. Five rods that flow along the metal tassels of the foot. I've gone... 40 kilometers in these, so not many, but I have been only using these for, I've done one race in them, one time trial in them, 5Ks, new PB, and I've done a few tempo track sessions in them, just to get some speed in them, get some work in them, and from what I've tested out, they're awesome. They feel good, they feel light, and that's it. That is my current shoe rotation, or running shoe rotation, at the beginning of the year 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. And if you want to see a new, vi new video come out soon in German, just let me know down in the comments and a new German video will be coming up. So, thanks. I'll see you next time. Bye.